Hello and welcome to the 64th tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at the abstract base class. An abstract base class is a class that can't be instantiated and is used for de deriving classes only. Basically what that means, you can't create a object of that class. And you declare all methods that pure virtual which can be done by emitting the method's body but assigning the value 0 to it. This is really simple but it's something that is really powerful and as a lot of the other programming tutorials from now on will be introducing advanced topics this is also an advanced topic so what we want to do is we're just going to create a class we're going to call it shape we're going to do public so what we're going to do is create a virtual method and to do that it is really simple do virtual we covered the virtual method before, but we're going to create a pure virtual method. Basically, what you do is you assign it the value 0, and this prevents this class from being instantiated. Let's try and instantiate it in a moment so you can see the sort of error that you'll get from the compiler. Point. And now we're going to create another class, and it's going to inherit from the shape class public shape and now what we're going to do is public do void area I'm going to do an inline method just to quickly get done with time by height as you can see it's got the width and height from this here and what we're going to do is now just create some objects. So shape derived sd sd dot width equals ninety sd dot height equals put eight and if we do sd dot area we should get seven hundred and twenty what we're going to do is run this so we get a value of 720 but if we change this to shape and try and run it it says build failed variable type shape is an abstract class basically can't be instantiated that is it for abstract classes in the next part of this series we'll be looking at error handling if you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at solarsystems.co.uk. Email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and I hope you have a nice day.